This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Corrupt talks about how Tupac tried to get the uh, everybody at death row wearing like Versace and everything, and I think he did for a while. Him and Snoop were doing it, but uh, everyone else wanted to wear... Uh, he says, you know, it was a suggestion. Some people took it, some people didn't. Uh, but, you know... We were wearing white tees and chucks and khakis. That was our thing. And, you know, Tupac didn't push back. Tupac was just trying to, like, he saw a different... It seems to me he was trying to compete with Bad Boy at that time. Like, you know, we got it. And I like that part of, like, when people started dressing different like that, that was cool for a while. Like, getting dressed up and stuff. Like, that was cool for a minute. I, I don't know why things went away from that, but I guess, you know... That era ended, the puffy era, <laughs> the shiny suit era. I think that took it a little too far, the shiny suits, let's be honest, you know. It looks like Takashi may have been set up by his own security. This guy, Bam, Bam Bomard, he posted Bullets Guzman. Bullet Guzman. This is one of his friends from jail. This is the guy who messed Takashi up. Bam is one of Takashi's security. He says, I can't be everywhere at the same time. But the other doesn't mean you still can't get professional protection. You just posted one of your client, the guy who beat down your client a day or two after this, this picture right here. Come on, man. You got to be kidding me. He was set up by his own security. See, you can't even hire security anymore, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, everybody wanted to know as soon as as soon as Takashi got beat up in LA Fitness, I was like, I wonder what Rich Dollars thinks. Rich Dollars from Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> this is who they're posting. Rich Dollars from Love and Hip Hop. This guy's what a, a fake A and R, some label, I don't know, you know. But anyways, he says no. He, he did make sense. He said you're, you're jumping Takashi, but uh, is there a man out here living his best life? Exactly. That is a good point, though. I'll give him that. You know, it is silly. Little Baby has the Virgil. I it, Come on, man. Virgil was, you know, he, he accomplished a lot. But come on. It, what, 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 he painted a Maybach a different color, and it's famous. I, come on, man. Are you serious? He painted the Maybach and the wheels a different color, and now it's a Virgil design. I mean, dude, come on. You know, he put clouds on a plane. You know, it's like, this is where people go too far with, like, designer stuff and, like, designers. They're like, he painted my walls. Could have been the most basic gray, or he mixed a gray with a white and this and this. Come on, man. Like, Virgil had some good designs, and it's sad that he's not here anymore. But people take these things too far. I'm, I'm telling you. They always do. Celebrities get bored with all that money. You know? Um. Then we got... Oh, uh, Mike Mike Tyson's getting roasted. Because Hasbulla... I don't know if you know who Hasbulla is. He's this... He's a 20-year-old man. But he, sh you know, he has something going on where he's stunted his growth and everything. Right? Mike Tyson's playing with him at the hot box in an interview. And then uh, then he picks him up like a little baby and starts blowing a uh, little, you know, blowing air on his neck. Like he's a child. Like he's a four. I think Mike Tyson really thought it was a four year old. I'm going to be honest with you. He's getting flamed online for this. He says, doing this, then having someone remind you that Hezbollah is a man in his 20s, I'd have to walk into traffic. Bad Bunny's ex-girlfriend, she did the tagline that he uses on all his songs. She wants $40 million, bro. That's insane. Insane. Um, anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you all, and I will check you guys in the next one. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.